you've arrived at your destination. Iceland, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Finally, after a 20 hours flight, welcome to the land of ice and fire. Grabe, I was really teary eyed the moment we landed in Iceland. I tried to go outside the airport, but it was windy and cold, and I didn't have enough layers with me since my checked in baggage was delayed. It was only delivered the same night I arrived at my hostel. So I went back inside the airport and booked my bus to Reykjavik. Inside the airport, you will see different tour companies which offer airport transfer to the city center and car rentals are available too. I actually booked mine with Greyline Iceland, a reliable and affordable airport bus shuttle service. They offer airport transfer from Keflavik International Airport to Reykjavik City Center. They also offer hotel, guest house, and bus stop pickup and drop off. As you make your way to Reykjavik, you won't see many buildings but instead you will see areas covered with mossy lava fields which is why the landscape looks alien and unearthly. So this is where I'm staying. It's Kex Hostel. It's a uh, bar, hostel, and a restaurant. I can really recommend this hostel, guys. It's just in Reykjavik. And just in front of our hostel is a view of there. A view of the mountain with the uh, snow. Outside Kex Hostel is a sea view which is facing Enge. Enge is the second largest island in Faxa Bay Ford in Western Iceland. Just a 10 minute walk from my hostel is a gleaming steel sculpture called Sun Voyager. It resembles a Viking longship. The artist intended it to convey the promise of undiscovered territory, a dream of hope, progress, and freedom. Oh, dati hanggang mawa seaside lang. Ngayon ay pa Iceland seaside na. Oh, ha? Reykjavik is the capital and largest city of Iceland. As of January 1, 2002, the population of Iceland was 376,248. Halgrimskirkja is a Lutheran parish church in Reykjavik. The church is named after the Iceland poet and cleric Halgrimur Peterson. At over 70 meters high, you can see the majestic Halgrimskirkja from almost anywhere in Reykjavik and a little beyond. It is the largest church in Iceland and among the tallest structures in the country. You can see how the church represents Iceland's landscape from the outside. Its rising columns forming the exterior and tower were inspired by Iceland's basalt mountain formations to thunderous waterfalls. Admission to the church is free. However, one of the best 360-degree panoramic views of the city is from the observation deck at the top which costs 1,200 Icelandic krona for adults and 200 Icelandic krona for children 7 to 16 years old. Rainbow Street in Reykjavik is one of the top tourist attractions in the city, painted as a sign of joy and support for diversity. This colorful street is now one of the city's focal points, surrounded by local shops and restaurants and leading famous Algrims Kirkja Church. You'll probably find a few tourists here taking pictures but nothing to worry about. Any visitor of Iceland will at some point or another have found themselves in Reykjavik's main shopping street. This is the artery of the inner city and at all times the most crowded street in town showing just how bustling Iceland's capital can get. Here you will find plenty of restaurants, bars, cafes, grocery stores, and souvenir shops. 
If you're looking for the classic Icelandic souvenir, be it fridge, magnets, toy puffins, keychains, or books, you will surely find plenty of them sprouting all over Reykjavik's main shopping street. Shopping here is tax-free, but knowing Iceland's reputation, prices are relatively expensive, such as the single keychain I bought for 700 Icelandic krona. Yes, very expensive. Alright, after putting food on your belly and buying souvenirs for friends and loved ones, Arpa is a good place to spend a few hours strolling around. It is a concert hall and conference center in Reykjavik. While it may look like a honeycomb, the building actually features a steel framework clad with geometric shaped glass facade inspired by the basalt landscape of Iceland. Just a few walk from Harpa is in Gulfor Square, a cozy place in downtown Reykjavik. Surrounded by shops and restaurants, here you will find the statue of Ingulfor Arnarson. According to the Book of Settlements, he and his crew were the first permanent settlers in Iceland and named the place Reykjavik. After a tiring day of walking, a good place to unwind and chill is a park in Reykjavik's downtown area. I have a hard time pronouncing places in Iceland that even the name of this park is difficult to read. However, it is renowned for its bird life, sculptures, and serenity. A lovely park in a lake with tons of swans, ducks, and other birds. It's very quiet and surrounded by lovely lush gardens. It's also a nice place to go jogging. Just beside this lovely lake is Reykjavik's City Hall. And that's it for today's video. This is again Shine Bright Like Diamond.